What's going on boys and girls? Today we are going back to the drag strip. We're dual pulling now uh, and I'm actually just flashing a new tune right now. The car's been over boosting just a little bit up top uh, so we're flashing a new tune that pulls some boost out of it uh, and then the other thing I'm going to do to make sure that we add a little bit more fuel to the system is uh, not run the car on the 104 octane tune because I have uh, about a half tank of gas and I don't have uh, a place to put that if I pump that out of the car. Uh, with integrated I do get a feature on the tune that allows me to pump the fuel fuel out of the tank if I run a fuel line to like a gas canister or whatever. But I'm going to put the 104 in the tank anyway because there's no other opportunity for me to use it this year at the drag strip uh, and it should help out with uh, adding more timing up top and reducing knock if there is any. The other cool thing that we're going to be playing with today that we'll be putting in the car is actually a two-step launch control. Um, so previously launch control would sit there with the throttle body just about closed uh, to hold the RPMs the way it is. This is actually a fuel cut uh, that keeps the RPMs at the right launch RPM and launch with the throttle body all the way wide open. So if you saw the last few videos, I've actually been launching with the upswing method, which is you don't let the car sit on launch control. As the needle's going up, you come off the brake. Uh, but this will allow a much more consistent launch. So uh, they have warned me that this tends to blow the tires off. So I've been launching around 3,000 RPMs. I'm going to set this to 2600 to start now, uh, and we can always turn it up to 2800 at the track. But uh, let's flash this tune. It's going to take a while because it's actually flashing uh, a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure my neighbors are not going to be happy about this. But let's see. Oh, we're not in launch control. Oh, we're in drive. Wow. All right. APR dual pulley car. Integrated dual pulley car, APR single pulley car. I'm outnumbered by these guys. Just, just APR everywhere. We just got here. They've said they've already made passes. Oh, well, I just got here. They said they've already made passes, and they're just spinning all the way. So uh, it's not looking promising for tonight. Josh ran a 12-2 in the dual pulley car, uh, but we're all struggling for traction. So we may not even get to use the two-step tonight. All right, well, we literally just sat for about an hour. I got here, and I sent my logs out. And by the time I sent my logs out, they went on break. So... Uh, I think we're going to hot lap. Like I said before, these guys are running into traction issues. Actually, I have to remember to turn traction control off. But I think I'm going to do uh, a two-step launch out of the box. It's probably going to blow the tires off. And then I don't know if I'm going to launch it. I might just hit it out of the box and see what happens for the first pass of the night. Or I just go full send. I, we'll, we'll decide. We'll make a game time decision. The Hondas are out in force tonight, and I'm so concerned that one of them is going to blow up. I'm just gonna mat it and go. Alright, how we do boys? We were right lane. 12-1 at 114 with no launch. Jeez, we had a uh a 1960 foot. We run a 17 before, so that's an 119 pass if we can get traction off the line. Uh, and then, you know, it may be pulling even harder on the big end. I'm gonna hot lap it while the tires are hot and we'll see what happens. All right, well, we're waiting in the staging lane, so Josh is gonna hit two step. Jesus. That's so, <laughs> that's so loud. <laughs> well, so much for hot lapping. We literally just waited for like. I don't know how long, a, a good amount of time, probably an hour, an hour and 20 for the track to uh, get cleared from a bike that blew up. So this may be my last pass of the night. I'm going to try to soft launch it and see what happens. Spinning was uh, 
pretty intense and uh, the car upshifted and then downshifted and I let out of it just because goodness knows what just happened to the transmission. We'll do it again. All right, here goes nothing. That was moving at the big end. Uh, the speedometer, I think, said we crossed the line around 120. I bet you it's more like 117, but... It spun off the line and then she just went. Short shifted first, but second gear. Jeez. Woohoohoo! Not a bad pass. I'll take that for the last one of the night. There's nothing in the left lane because a Honda blew up. Go figure. Uh, we spent more of tonight waiting than we spent. We spent more of tonight waiting for cars that blew up than anything else. But we'll see what we ran. I'm excited. I hope that was an 11. I've been chasing 11s all season. I don't care if it's an 11.9, a dual pulley car should be faster than that. I just, mm, I want it so bad. GoPro's gonna die. Give me the time that I want. Give me something that starts with an 11, please. It's gonna be like a 12001 again. Please, please, please. Thank you. <gasps> no way. She didn't give me the right slip, did No! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Let's go! I thought she gave me the wrong slip. A 18260 foot, so that's not even the best we've done, but a 1174 at almost 119. Let's go! Nice. I'm so pumped! Finally, finally, finally. Yeah, it's fun bad on that. Oh, guys, I'm so happy right now. All right, well, there it is, guys. As you can tell at the end of the video, I am stoked on that time. There it is, 1174 at 118.73. You can see the 60 foot is definitely not ideal at a 182, but I'm pretty hyped on that. I know a 174 isn't that fast for a dual pulley car, but considering that that's a 182 60 foot and not something that's in the low 17s or the high 16s, I will definitely take it. James in the orange S4 actually went back tonight and ran 11.8 at 115 single pulley. That four miles an hour on the big end should put me in the Hopefully 11.5s, it's not a little bit more than that. And that's on pump gas. We do have uh, a fuel pump and an E40 mix that we can run for a little bit more power. So I'm very excited to see what we run next year at the track. We'll have to wait a long winter for that. But overall, I'm just, I'm so happy we ran on 11. Literally the last pass of the year. Big thanks to Integrated for their fantastic tune. Uh, and thanks to that track for letting me kind of hook at least one pass. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are and what's the fastest you've run at the drag strip. Thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.